Southbank's Concrete Fortress and Pinnacle of British Brutalist Architecture. This is the National Theatre. Draw with me, Callum Henderson, in video number 12 of my Drawing London Architecture series. The National Theatre was opened in 1976 and designed by architect Sir Dennis Lasden. It is a Grade II listed structure and certainly a monument of London architecture, though disputedly so. The Prince of Wales famously described the building as a nuclear power station in the middle of London. Whether you agree with His Royal Highness or not, I think it is hard to deny that Lasden's impeccable attention to detail is quite admirable, and it certainly makes for a rather satisfying building to photograph. The word brutalism actually derives from the French word brut, meaning raw, referring to the exposed concrete so common in this style. However, I think it also kind of goes without saying that the brutalist's mantra of function over form gives rise to many buildings that are quite brutal in nature too. The National Theatre is certainly no exception there. That being said, it is as much a cultural landmark as it is an architectural one, with more than 8 million engagements with the theatre through productions, digital content, events, etc. in recent years. Even as a simple social space, the National Theatre and the whole of the South Bank promenade is as buzzing and enriching a place as any in London. It is a definite must for the tourist's bucket list and the perfect spot for a romantic evening stroll. Do you like the National Theatre building? Let me know if you think it's an icon or an eyesore in the comments, and whilst you're there remember to subscribe. Music for this video is a little bit different to the rest of the series so far. With the National Theatre opening late into the 20th century, there was a real wealth of musical options for me to choose from, so I went for something a bit more fun. There are actually two tracks in this video. Firstly, Sly by Herbie Hancock from the album Headhunters, released in 1973. And secondly, Opus Pocus by Jaco Pistorius from his self-titled album, released in 1974. Herbie Hancock is an American jazz pianist and the mastermind behind jazz standards Chameleon and Watermelon Man. If you're not familiar with the Headhunters album, you absolutely should go listen to it. It's a fabulous album and ever relevant even to this day. Jacob Pistorius is often regarded as the greatest bassist of all time and his dreamy, fretless bass sound remains truly unique and soulful to this date also. Thank you so much for watching. Please do click on my face here to subscribe and then click over to the right to watch the rest of the Drawing London series. If you've got any buildings in mind that you'd like to see me draw, then do let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.